Welcome to another episode, everybody. Today, as you can see, we're going to be kind of going over what are some of the best options slash best basic options for your tanker tools. And we're just going to kind of go through what I've got here. As you can see, we got a pickaxe, we got a hammer, we got an axe. Um, I there's some other weapons that I could have included, like the shovel and the and the hatchet and all of them. But I'm gonna be honest, the shovel is pretty brutal in this game. And after you guys see the episode, you guys will probably get a, a little bit of a hint of what I'm kind of prioritizing and all that in terms of having the best overall tool for each job type deal. So let's just get straight into it. I know you guys just kind of want to see what's going on with the builds and stuff. So we're going to start off with the pickaxe. And we got a cobalt pickaxe head. So this is basically for speed. We want the most speed. It's a pickaxe. We want to go fast. Paper binding for that extra modifier. Manilium rod for that extra durability. And so what I got laid out here is I got six mods that you can use. But they're kind of categorized as like these ones I think are the most essential these ones are like it they're good but like you don't need them and these ones are like if you have modifier modifiers left like you can put those on and what we got here is our extra modifiers we got our nether star our diamond and gold block our grapple and our diamond block so these are all each going to give you one modifier that's plus three on their on your standard Four modifiers, sometimes five. If you have two paper items, you can have five. So basically, what we got on here is we have enough modifiers to put all these things on there, but you can definitely customize to what you would like. like if you want more fortune than you want more speed, then you can definitely, like, you know, you can take, you can just not put these on, put all your fortune etc etc type deal basically it's i'm just kind of gonna explain like all right we want moss on everything i mean you can you can replace it with a flux capacitor if you want but moss is just so much easier it's literally just mossy cobblestone it's so easy to get if you guys don't know the recipe i mean we're not really here for the recipes but i'll show them to you anyways so this is the pickaxe with everything on it we got all of it, and we still have one modifier left. So if you want to put a hundred redstone or more lapis, you can. If you want to put an extra modifier, I like silk touch. If you want to put silk touch on here, I mean the lava crystal is kind of silk touch, but not really. If you guys want, you can take the lava crystal, put skill silk touch. This is kind of like I said, like. These two, I think, are mandatory. You should really have these two on there. These two are like, if you really want it, and these two are like, we have the modifiers, fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? So, this is kind of like the ranking of what you should be putting on, what you really, and like, Silk Touch is like, way out here. Like, you can have Silk Touch if you want. If, if you're just kind of running Tinkers only, like if you're not running any other mod, then Silk Touch could be good, but then again, you can just enchant it on your diamond pick anyway. So, it, it really depends on what you're running. Like, if you're running, like, a huge mod pack, like, FTB, Tacket, or something like that, there's so much resources in the world that Silk Touch is just going to slow you down. So, this is, this is kind of... I, I think most of you guys are coming for this part anyway, the actual layout of what the what I made the pieces are anyway. Because you guys can put whatever modifiers you... You really can't go wrong. I mean, if you if you don't put moss on it, maybe. But you really can't go wrong with any of the modifiers. So that's our pickaxe. We're going to we're gonna go over to the hammer. So the hammer, I got... Pretty much I used the actual pieces for speed. So I want my hammer to be as fast as possible right out of the gate. And I want the paper tool rod for the extra modifier. Because when you see it down here... We got reinforced to durability plus 500 and plus 50%. So I put the emerald and the diamond on there. So we make up the durability 
or even we we kind of double our durability. And of course, I'm gonna be honest with you guys on every tool, like every single tool, you're gonna want redstone and moss. It's it's just gonna be standard on everything. Like again, you can do flux capacitor if you want. It's it's not it's fine. Like you you can choose whatever you want in terms of modifiers, but this is what I tend to run for for my hammer, just full on cobalt with the paper rod for full on speed. And again, we got our extra modifiers here. And these are kind of the modifiers, like if I was going to use any, these are what I'm going to use. I mean, if you want to put fortune on your hammer, you want to put fortune on your hammer. But it's all based on my opinion. So these are these are the mods. If I was going to put any on them, these are the first two I'd prioritize. And I'd take these two. And if I had extra modifiers at the end of it, I'd put a lava crystal. Alright boys, so that's my hammer. Again, cobalt, paper, huge. Put whatever modifiers you want. Boom, boom, boom. Silk touch. You want to put lapis on there? You want to put a flux capacitor on there? Go give her. But this is this is my version of the best hammer in the game. And we got the we got the almighty axe, right? The axe. And I was kind of tempted not to do this one because it's one of those ones like you can't really use it if you're building your house. Like, if you're building your house and you're trying to, and you knock a piece out, you're just going to knock more pieces than you would have. But in terms of, like, mining down trees, this thing's amazing. If you want to mine down trees, if you don't have an automated tree farm, this thing is going to be god tier. And let me tell you why. So with the, with the lumber axe, we get natural abilities fell trees so it basically has tree capitator which is amazing for the trees in some of the mods like some of the mods you have there's five by five trees boom one hit boom so you guys gotta watch durability it'll, it'll, catch, it'll catch up it's not like the durability registers as you hitting every single one of pieces of those pieces of wood that fall so you never know, you could hit a massive tree, boom, durability zero, broken. So you just gotta watch for those. So we got our Cobalt Brox head, Broad Axe head, speed, Cobalt Large Plate, purely speed, paper tough rodding, extra modifier, manual and tough rod for that huge big durability buff because we're gonna need it. And again, same as everything else, redstone, ball of moss, pretty much standard on everything then we got two more durability things we got our emerald and our diamond just more durability you guys are probably thinking why isn't there a lava crystal on this one why isn't there silk touch well with the lumber axe you put a lava crystal on there you won't be getting wood you'll be getting charcoal so i mean it, it again it all depends if you want to make an axe strictly for charcoal you, you'd put a lava crystal there. You want an axe that when you cut down a tree, all the leaves fall down as well? You'll put silk touch on there. But in terms of what I use it for, and what I think is, is kind of most optimal for cutting down trees, just full-on durability and speed. That's what you want. Your durability and your speed... That's going to get your trees down. That's going to save you the most time. And obviously, if you have an automated tree farm, you're not going to care anyway. So, alright guys. We got our pickaxe, we got our hammer, and we got our axe. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys found this, any of it, informational, maybe you guys learned something, maybe you guys didn't, leave it down in the comments. I want to hear it. I want to hear all you, your guys' ideas on, on weapons and Tinker's Contract. What, what is your guys' favorite axe setup? What is your guys' favorite hammer setup? And what's your favorite pickaxe setup? Because obviously, what I think is the best, somebody else might not think is the best. So put down in the comments. Which axe, which hammer, which lumber axe do you guys think is the best setup? Put it down in the comments. Share with your friends. Share with me, share with everybody in the comments. Maybe get some hybrid stuff going. Get some amazing stuff going in the comments. But 
that's it for today, boys. Comment, like, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, appreciate everybody who watches. I'm going to head out. <laughs>